hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video i'm going to show you how you can flush custom firmware on your nokia devices so this will work on nokia s40 and s60 devices and this will be a step-by-step -step guide so if you follow this tutorial you will be able to flush stock and custom firmware on your phone even if your phone is dead also sometimes you can recover with this tool the, the tool i'm going to show you so to demonstrate the flashing process i'm using my nokia e6 and i will flash a custom firmware on this phone so currently this phone running on a custom firmware which is based on uh, bell refresh so as you can see nokia bell refresh and i will flash another custom firmware and i will show you how you can do that too so as you can see here the tool we need i will provide all those tools and links everything you will find in the description below you can download it from there and for the firmware you can check out my telegram group when where i basically put all the flash file there you can find your custom firmware like i put maybe nokia e5 e72 e6 and all those phones so you can download it from there and flash it and be mindful about the rm number sometime same model has different rm number so as you can see here i have a flash file here which is rm609 and this is for nokia e6 maybe rm number can be different for another nokia e6 in so in that case you have to be mindful about flashing firmware you have to choose correct rm number to flash the firmware so here i have a custom firmware which is rm609 for my nokia e6 and this is the flash tool so before going to the flashing tutorial uh, we have to turn off our protection which is uh, the antivirus protection from our our windows 11 i'm using windows 11 here you can do it on basically most perfect one is windows 7 but you can do it on windows 8 windows 10 and windows 11 no matter and i've been flashing phones for very long time with these things so no issue and another thing as i said we need a firmware file we need flash uh, flash tool and also we need um, nokia suite so nokia suite basically doesn't do anything but it comes with all the drivers need for the phones so that your phone can communicate with your laptop so so that you, you can flash your firmware so before proceeding to the uh, flashing um, i will remind you that and i'll i'll not be taking any kind of responsibility if you do anything wrong with your phone do it on your spare phone don't do it the regular phone you use because you may break your device and will not be able to recover your device so in that case i will not take responsibility but uh, in my case i haven't faced this kind of issue like breaking the device this tool work perfectly fine and i haven't face any kind of issue like breaking the device or anything like that but be mindful about selecting the firmware and other things if you flash wrong firmware you may not able to recover your phone using this tool maybe you need to take it to the service center so that they can use some kind of um, tool for flashing your firmware and then do the like keep like make give your phone a new life so let's go and i will put all the links as i said in the description you can download it from there like nokia suite and flush tool and the firmware you have to find your own firmware for your phone so let's go and turn on our flush tool first if you go here extract the file i will put it in the zip file so you can you have to extract so i have already extracted the file as you can see here and do not delete or do anything with the, these files and do not remove and we have to click like nokia vest bb5 easy flash tool crack this is a crack version that's why uh, i have turned off my antivirus and other things sometimes they don't allow but in my case i haven't faced any kind of issue with antivirus too it doesn't doesn't make any difference but still turn off your antivirus any kind of antivirus not only windows defender if you have any kind of antivirus you just turn it off so now cl double click on it and let it open it takes a bit time to open like uh, 30 or one minute so let's see how long it takes and another thing is to remind you that most of the custom firmware doesn't come with whole firmware package in my case this firmware comes with whole firmware package but some firmware only comes with ppm only so in that case you need to download stock firmware too to flash the custom firmware just you need to select the ppm file so in this case i will flash full firmware but if you flash only ppm only it will work perfectly fine so our flash tool is open as you can see here and when it opens at first it will be stuck on service tool that time you have need to uh, put it on the flashing mode and have to select the file directory so data package path and we need to um, 
uh, provide the path of your flash file it could be anywhere in my case i put it on the desktop so that i will change it to desktop so setting change data pack and as you can see my one is already in desktop but if you if you are in somewhere else you can go to change directory and you can select so i will put in the desktop and okay and now i have to select my rm number to flash so in my case my phone rm number is rm609 so when i put rm609 it will automatically take the flash file the rm609 as you can see here all the flash file is here and as i say uh, some firmware only come with ppm as you can see two ppm file so if your firmware file comes with only ppm file that time you need to download full stop firmware and put the ppm file and you have to select the ppm file manually the custom one so if you click here you can select your ppm file and you can do another thing is that uh, you can flash only ppm and it will also work just fine like custom flashing custom firmware you can select ppm only and it will automatically flash the firmware so as you can see our firmware flash firmware file is already selected and also be careful about your phone has charge or not if your phone does not have charge you, you may face some issue like phone will break or do anything else I, I will not take any responsibility be careful about this kind of flashing and things so our phone now i will connect my phone and use a good cable don't use any cable that uh, like disconnect or like not good so in that case you have to be mindful about this kind of thing as you can see my phone is connected and and our phone is defected here as you can see cdx60 device detected because nokia e6 is cdx60 device but you can use it for s40 device too so you will not have any issue so our phone is connected and our flash tool is here so i will flash full flash here and you can you do no need to change anything here just click on flash and don't do anything don't disconnect your phone while flashing it may take five to seven minutes and if you flash only ppm file it will take only one minute or two but if you flash a uh, full custom firmware it will take time like five to ten minutes sometime so our flashing is already going on as you can see my phone already turned off so wait until the phone uh, reboot itself sometimes the phone doesn't reboot itself but you will see that flashing is done in that case you can uh, remove your battery and try to turn it on or if your phone accidentally like if you are using desktop if you the electricity is gone and you uh, your uh, desktop turned off uh, like turned off and in that case your phone may break in that case you can actually uh, use that mode here as you can see here there is option that mode you can use that mode to flash your firmware and sometimes it does work but sometimes it doesn't but uh, as i said you have to take a risk but in my case i'm using a laptop so i don't need to really worry about like electricity so it's going on the flashing is going on it uh flashing on the ppm now as you can see ppm 2 ppm 1 and it will flash cmt that there is two cmt file maybe two or three uh two fly file as you can see all this firmware uh, the fly files already flashed and this one is remaining now it didn't take long actually but when i was flashing my nokia 6300 it did take about nine minutes only i flash only ppm file but still it take long time and i will show you that uh, firmware too like later on in some other videos but uh be mindful about these things actually so don't do it in your like regular phone do it in a spare phones so as you can see the flashing is done and our phone turned on and it is in test mode and it is rebooting itself sometime your phone will not reboot itself it will stuck on like uh test mode so as you can see my phone is turning on so what we can do now we can just uh close our flash file uh, flashing tool and we can disconnect our phone too it's turning on now so it didn't take long time actually it just take maybe two or three but if you're flashing in other phones it time may vary like my nokia n8 or nokia 7 nokia c7 takes about six to eight minutes when i flash the firmware so now as you can see we have what promote and then silent okay okay and preparing installation don't do anything like it is installing the uh the software come with uh, your phone 
and it can take uh, sometimes long time and sometimes it doesn't take a long time actually so as you can see the fiber phone is now doing it things but now i can show you maybe my, our firmware running running firmware let's see now we have to wait for finishing the installation process let's see how long it takes last time i flushed from this firmware uh, like another firmware it takes uh, about five minutes to finish this preparing to an um, installation so as you can see here the firmware flush is done as you can see the wallpaper has changed and we have set up all the things but i will show you the firmware version and other things to confirm you that this tool is working perfectly fine and as i said um be mindful about rm number for of your device every nokia device has an uh, individual like unique rm number so you can you can choose look at your rm number and you can look for your firmware cfw if, if you search like rm number and cfw you will find flash file and this now nowadays it's really difficult to find a custom firmware that's why i'm whenever i find custom firmware i just put it on my uh, telegram group so that if you if someone needs something you can take it from there and i will put other links like flash file and um nokia suite link in my description below you can download it from there and you have to install uh, nokia suite so that you can communicate with your device so the installation is going on i cannot cancel this process actually or i can interrupt this thing so let it be let's see how long it takes so it's almost done now uh just i think it will take 30 seconds more and it's done so it said unable to complete in a solution remaining application doesn't matter actually it did work so if i go to menu as you can see it changed uh many things and i have installed some of the uh, app here some of the new apps so let's check our uh, So as you can see, Nokia well advanced. So we were in Nokia well refresh. Now I have flashed custom firmware, which is Nokia well advanced 2.0. And our phone is running completely well. There is no issue with the phone. And it is a crack firmware so that you will not have any issue with installing app and another thing. So that's it about how you can flash custom firmware on your phone. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.